I'm Landy from Landy on Etsy, and today we're going to show you how to hang our vinyl backsplash. Um, we've had a lot of requests on how to do it, so we thought we'd make a video. So, first of all, it comes like this in a 22 inch wide panel. Um, we find it's easier to work in this kind of section, then you can just put it up a little bit at a time. If it was a big thing, it would be kind of get a little hairy. So, anyway, it comes like this, and it comes in three layers. You've got the transfer tape and then the actual vinyl, and then the backing. Okay, so I'm going to start by removing the backing. And you want to make sure as you remove it, that it stays onto the transfer tape. Sometimes if you need to kind of go back and do this to keep it on the transfer tape, you can do that. But these come in one solid piece, so once you get it going, it's pretty easy. Take that off. You come over to, and, and we're doing a pantry today in my sister-in-law's house. She's also my business partner, Shelly. Um, it's the same idea as the backsplash, though. So you would put it to where you want it up at the top. You can line it up against the top. Nice along the edge, and then smooth it down. Depending on the texture of your wall, you may want to take a credit card or something and burnish it down. This wall is pretty smooth, so it's going to stick really easily. And then you come up and you grab just the transfer tape. And I like to pull it down at like 180 degree angle against the wall. And if it does stick, you just go back with your finger, put it down a little bit more. You just work it down, and you just pull it straight down. That's the one piece of tape. You just pull it, and you're just carefully watching and making sure none of this vinyl is coming off with it because you will tear it. There you go. Okay, so now for our second piece, and this is kind of where maybe you need a little instruction. Um, but the thing I didn't show you at the first one is that what we like to do is send you a little more height-wise than, than too little. And so what you might want to do is trim it before you put it up. So I'm going to look here. You can see how the design lines up. Kind of see where I want to trim it. So I'm just going to cut that off before I even apply it. Okay, so now we're going to line up the second piece. And as you can see, this design, this is our interlocking circle design. And it is really nice because it just has this little edge here. And then this is the next edge, so it's easy to overlap just a little bit and get it lined up perfectly. On our quatrefoil design, we give you about three inches extra for overlap. And you can either cut that off before you hang it or you can just overlap them, or you can go back later with an X-Acto knife, whatever you want to do um, for overlap. But this is, so this is the second piece, and this is how you overlap it with the interlocking circle design. So I'm just going to go along here, and I know this is my edge, but I'm just going to make sure that this is right over that design. That's what's nice about the translucent tape, too, is that it gives you a nice guide. And then you flatten it down, smooth it. Okay, so I've put up the third panel now, and I'm going to show you one other way that you can do it. If you didn't want to trim it first, if you want to leave a bit, little bit of an overlap, this is a really easy way to get a nice clean line along the top. You can see I put it on, but I didn't trim it. And so now I'm just going to go with an X-Acto knife or any kind of straight edge razor blade and just go along right here. And it'll give you a nice clean edge when you go and tear these off. See? You 
just do that all the way across. The other thing is, is you can see right here where I lined it up, I nailed it. But over here, there might have been a little bit of, of the underneath sticking out. So you can also go back and make it perfect by just going along and following the line of the top one and exactoing that off. And then nobody will even be able to see the seams. So that's how you apply the vinyl backsplash. And good luck, and make sure you let us know if you have any other questions. Thanks. <laughs>